what to prepare before going to flirting. Before flirting with girls, I would like to make a few notes. My secret is not written for boys who are in high school age, are in 12th the grade, have not encountered much life. The psychology of this age is often very weak or afraid, so it is difficult to flirt with girls. It is useless to teach too much. This secret life is mainly aimed at students and working people. This is the mature age to experience true love. Hope it will be of great help to you. So before we're gonna flirt, what do we need to prepare? Our grandparents used to have a saying that if you are not rich, you must be handsome. If you are not well-educated, you must be 20 centimeters long. Our grandparents in the past were right, but not enough. Those are just the basic aspects of a man. Wealth, appearance, knowledge, physiology. But in modern society, development, communication needs, psychology, living culture are equally important. So the important thing that I want to say is in order to flirt with girls easily, the success rate is high. Not only must be like our grandparents said, but also have to communicate well, live well. That is, become a man. To become a man of true quality, you should consider yourself solving a math problem. First, rich. Must earn a lot of money. The more, the better. To do this, it is necessary to focus on work, career, and business. Handsome, handsome, not everyone has it, but if you are ugly, you can still make yourself more beautiful by increasing sports, six packs, neat grooming, fashionable clothes. I believe this won't make you any more ugly because you're basically already ugly, but it will make you more confident, brave enough to see girls. Study, well, try to study as best as possible. Always invest in upgrading your knowledge to better serve your work and life. As I have long-term research experience on hentai, but in order not to lose my knowledge, now I have switched to studying JAV2. Good communication, good manners. This takes time and practice. You can't get better in a day or two. Being good at this will not only flirt with good girls, but also help you get better job interviews and easier business negotiations. 20 centimeters long. This sounds like it can be practiced, but it's too hard so we can let it go. You must remember that the above things not only help you flirt well, but it also helps you to be more successful in work and life. So. F uh, friends, don't be sad. Just practice living for yourself and the girl will come by herself. My concept is that good flirts are not necessarily successful people, but successful people I believe are good flirt. Criteria for choosing a girlfriend. In this section, I will talk about the criteria for choosing the right girlfriend. Anyone who is a perfectionist, but likes beautiful, talented, good natured, rich, tall, big butt girls, don't waste your time looking for them because they don't exist. But even if it is, it is not your turn. The rich, handsome guys have taken it all. If you want to flirt with them, you have to get rich first. So always keep this in mind before flirting with girls. There's no way a bad guy, poor guy can flirt with a beauty queen. One question is, which standard should be chosen? Like boys and girls, there are beautiful and ugly ones, big butts, meek and gentle ones. And the one who is the queen of flirting too much is confusing. So if you see the girl that suits you, just go ahead. However, you should stay away from the following girls. For the beautiful hot girls, if you are a rich man, go ahead. If you are a medium sized child, leap. Waste of effort and money, easy to be blacklisted. In general, the risk is very high. Shouldn't flirt with a girl who has a lover. There are many, many single girls out there, so why bother hitting on a girl who has a boyfriend? It is both difficult and easy to be published and bring a bad reputation for life. If you can flirt with her, there's a chance that she'll kick you as well later on like her ex-boyfriend, so you will be back to single. Do not flirt with a girl who has just broken up with her lover or has not forgotten her ex easily seen as a trash can where she throws all her trash, then it will become your friend's zone, brother's zone, so be careful. Life is very bitter, not like a dream. Avoid the girls playing around, the girls digging gold mines. If you like it, you can still come play, run away. Don't leave the product. In the end, there is no standard. You can move whichever you like. A girl, beautiful or ugly, still deserves to be loved. Personally, I'm ugly. I don't care. Big butt is fine. The must-haves and shouldn'ts before flirting with girls. The must-haves. The first is confidence. Always confident. Men who are not confident are not attractive to women. For example, if you enter the company elevator and forget to unzip your pants, don't panic. Calmly and confidently zip up your pants in front of the girls. Walk out with your head held high. Second, Mature. 
have a clear uh, personal opinion on an issue. Be ready to defend your own opinion, willing to admit mistake. Have dreams and ambitions for the future. Have clear and specific plans. Have your own thoughts about lifestyle, habits, hobbies, criteria for choosing a girlfriend, wife, and how to treat people. Willing to progress at work. The third, calm, knowing how to control anger, polite in dealing with people around. Smile a lot, talk less. Don't argue with girls just for the purpose of proving that you're right and she's wrong. Don't go along with girls who speak ill of people. In a group conversation, do not compete with others. Do not interrupt them while they are speaking. The fourth cold. Do not show affection to girls in public. Minimize the sentences expressing feelings for girls. For example, I am missing you. I miss you very much. I will die without you. You are the reason of my life. Show interest and love to girls or people by actions. For example, buying girls something before going away for work, giving money to beggars, buying things from people if you see them suffering. Do all of the above whenever and wherever possible. It doesn't have to be in front of girls and consider it a must. Showing concern, calling for good night is not bad. Fifth, fun. Come up with fun games like asking girls for a night out, playing billiards, betting on football. Being funny doesn't mean you have to be a clown to make girls laugh, to be considered funny. Being funny means making it look like your life is always interesting. Praise and criticize if needed of course, in a delicate way. For example, if you see a girl wearing a bad outfit, say, she looks like a boiled jackfruit seed in this outfit. Do something unexpected every now and then, like write a poem for a girl or record a song for a girl or buy some small gifts for her. Not afraid to talk to girls about sensitive issues. You know what I mean, right? The should not. First, jealousy. Being little has a little to show that you care about the girl. Don't be overly jealous. If you have flirted with a girl, keep in mind that there are one or more satellites around that girl. The important thing is to use your bravery to pull her away from those satellites. Absolutely do not have stupid actions such as checking messages, checking Facebook, investigating the status of each of her friends. Second, talk a lot. Speak when you need to. Whatever you don't need, hold back. Don't think what you say she will like to hear. Talking a lot only makes you a talker in the eyes of girls. It is best to say what is funny to tease girls. Third, loss of individuality. No girl likes a man who is easily manipulated. Many men are very funny. Quit games, quit smoking, give up all hobbies to get to know and please the girl who is flirting. In the end, the girl kicks you to follow the guy who smokes, plays games on a Lamborghini. So from the moment you get acquainted, what you like to play, what you smoke, tell the girl to know so that she avoids it. Girls who accept their preferences continue, if not quit. If a girl loves you, she will accept it. It is important not to lose your personality and interests. As I like JAV, for example, I will love the girl who accepts that hobby so that we can watch it together. The girl who told me to give up JAV, I will give up on that girl. Fourth, too sincere. A lot of brothers are involved in this. Why kneel in front of the girl, give gifts constantly, call the girl 24 out of 20 by the girl's side. Leave everything, neglect work to run to the girl need. Come on guys, don't watch too much Korean movies. Don't think that life is a movie. The above expressions are expressions of self-sacrifice in exchange for affection. It is blackmail, not love, making the girl feel indebted to give affection. It was an insult to a genuine flirt. Remember guys, love must start from two sides, not from blackmail. Fifth, the tension saying anything is afraid of the girl's anger, guarding every sentence, not daring to say anything when the girl does the wrong thing for fear of offending the girl. This makes the conversation dry, boring, easy to come to an end. In the past, when I took a girl out to play, she just sat down. I said, poor, the chair. I mean, complimented her big butt, but she punched me and was hospitalized. Anyone who learns to follow is guaranteed to be lonely. You will be single for life. In short, the purpose of this section is to advise you to stay away from all types of Korean movies and love language before flirting with girls. Those things are not real. Girls often fantasize about things that aren't real. The important thing is not sincerity, but basically whether you have enough confidence to endure or not. And if you want to ask about a typical example of love language, here it is. This is the guy who will wait for you for more than half an hour to drive you home. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support us. And if you like the above content, please log on to spiderroom.com to find out more.